It's winter here in Adelaide, Australia, and we're gonna talk about, if you, if you enjoy these videos, real talk. If you want real talk and the algorithm, give the video a thumbs up. I can give it to a real time, man. I can give it to a real time. Matthias Flockinger, in Australia we say Flockinger. It's a Swiss champion. Matthias Flockinger Flockinger is one of the best mountain bikers ever to grace the sport, all right? He got busted today, yesterday for Serenol, which is a, uh, that's, that's Rau Grow. That's a, an anabolic estrogen that they give. It's a myco, I think it's a myco estrogen. I think it's a fungi based estrogen drug um, derived from fungus. And I'm um, just trying to walk where I'm going here on the street. You wouldn't take that as a pro cyclist. <laughs> you just wouldn't take that. I believe this is a great case of contaminated meat. That's why I recommend all the athletes. Do my protocols, all right? You'll never, ever test positive for any cross-contamination if you're doing my dietary protocols. You'll be, look how lean I am, man. It's middle of winter. I've done about a 1,000 miles this year. August, what are you, August 20th or something today? Look how lean I am, man, all right? I'm 45 next week. I've hardly trained anymore just to prove my protocols work so good at keeping lean, lean physique. If you've been watching my videos since 2008, I'm always lean. Always lean, always low body fat. No, I just, you know, my protocols work. <laughs> so anyway, I don't believe this guy's natural. I don't believe anyone at that level's natural, okay? And I don't believe he would take Serenol. There are, Serenol is just a dumb thing to take. Like, it's a mass builder, okay? It's like, <laughs> it's, just, it's like Cell Tech 2000, man. It's just going to make you... Freaking, it's not a performance enhancing drug for a mountain bike cyclist who wants to stay skinny and super, 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 super skinny. It's not something you take for that. I believe cross contamination with some meat or something, something like that. Um, so let's change hands here. What is what? So, what, 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 what would it, you know, what do the world's best swimmers, runners, cyclists take? Right, the best, the best, getting the money, mate, getting the money. Like in the bling, the stack is EPO, athropoietin, red blood cells. Don't gain weight on that. Kenacort, corticosteroids, make you breathe, just they suppress your immune system a bit, and you're just like, oh, you've got Superman. Painkillers, paracetamol, man. Paracetamol, such an effective doping agent. I remember taking a paracetamol one time for a tooth, I had a tooth surgery a few years back. And it was our yearly Christmas ride, uh, Boxing Day ride or whatever it was, Christmas Eve ride. I remember going up the, this 25 minute climb and um, you know, just on the back of a couple of World Tour riders wheels and they were hammering up there, you know, going for it, you know. And um, I was just sitting on the, I was, I was like, man, I'm in paracetamol, this, I don't feel the, I don't feel any pain. This is insane, you know. Paracetamol, one of the strongest doping products out there. Oh, paracetamol's not doping, Harley, because it's legal. It doesn't matter if it's legal or not. You're freaking taking a pill. It's enhancing your performance. You've taken a performance-enhancing drug. You are my friends. A dope. Or legal or not otherwise. This is how it is, man. Okay? That's why I laugh with these people. Oh, get these cheats out of cycling. Get these cheats out of swimming. Oh, I've got a headache. Give me a paracetamol so I can do my job properly to work. <laughs> Give me some drugs so I can do my job properly. But these sporting people can't take drugs to do their job properly. How dare they? I mean, only I can do the drugs as an office worker. My Adderall, my Ritalins, my paracetamol, my caffeine. So we live in a, a world of hypocrisy. That's why I don't care when these people get busted there. You know what I mean? I don't care. I understand. It's pro sports entertainment, okay? So that's what it is, man. See if what it is. <laughs> There's no such thing as clean, elite, elite, elite level sport, okay? There's no such thing as that, okay? Yeah, you can have a state record or in some distance or whatever. No one really cares about too much, you know? But you're not going to be like a, a... You're not going to be on the Nike billboards, man, unless you maybe a plus-size model and they're just trying to virtue signal off you. Otherwise, I'd laugh at you. But I mean, as in like a big name, pro sports, Jordan, you know, like the, the big names, man, all right? PEDs, okay? So I don't believe this guy took Serenol, you know, like, <laughs> you wouldn't take that shit, man, okay? You stick with the tried and proven cocktails. EPO, Half-Life, four hours, microdosing, you know, various IUs, you know, microdosing EPO. Like, if you get caught doing that, you've got like a... IQ of like 10. 
you know, or what about the biological passport? You stay on all year, so you've got no spikes. You just you just blast and cruise all year long. Oh, oh, oh sorry, we've got a bit, we've got a bit of an anom- an- anomaly here. And you, oh, what's the attitude? Oh, that's okay. You're Tenerife. No worries, mate. Carry on, carry on, <laughs> carry on at 400 watts threshold FTP. Carry on. It's just how the, you know, it's, just, it's not just cycling, man. It's all the sports, the swimmers and shit. You know what I mean? How, 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 just ever stop for a minute go, how the Americans and the Australians and the Russians beating the Chinese swimming records that were done in the 90s when those women were swole, swole as motherfuckers. How have we beaten those records? Oh, it's just better nutrition. <laughs> better nutrition. It's just protein powders. <laughs> it's fucking drugs, man, okay? And good genetics, okay? You can't just pump yourself full of drugs and be a champ. You've got to have the genetics... You gotta have the genetics, man. You gotta be born with a freaky lung system. But again, if you don't have that lung system, you just get smashed by people who have, do have lung system and who do want to use a bit of oxygen vector products. Okay, EPO is cheap. EPO, you know, it's so hard to get caught for, man. Like, <laughs> it's just so hard to get caught for doing that stuff. It's so effective. You know, I had a friend. I've had a few friends doing EPO, and I've never used it myself. I've used other agents, but not EPO, because I've never, I don't, I don't do the training to justify EPO, right? like, but I, I know the writers, you, know, you can spot someone who's on EPO, because they're, they just do this crazy peak, man, I remember when uh, Cookie Man was here in January, doing Norton Summit, going for the comm, that was some crazy shit, man, that was a fucking crazy performance, and then a few months later, he's just, vegan cyclist is dropping him, <laughs> and I could drop the vegan cyclist, so it's like, you know, um, so, so the spikes, the mad spikes in performance, dead giveaway, okay? Especially especially uh, for someone on Strava or something like that, you know? But anyway, there's, there's ways around it. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm, not, I'm a nutrition expert, I'm a weightless expert, I'm not a doping expert, all right? But I know the basics, and it's red blood cells is the name of the game. Red blood cells and breathing. You could be able to breathe, you've got to have good heart, stroke volume, and you've got to have those red blood cells, maxed, all right? and you've got to have good sugar uh, availability in your muscles, so glycogen petitioning, they have store enough sugar, so you don't uh, run out of sugars and bonk, but yeah, I don't believe this guy took that stuff, I don't believe he's natty, but I don't believe he took that, you know, why would you take that, that's dumb, it's like riding, <laughs> it's like riding 70 PSI, road hookless, tubeless, <laughs> and expecting a better performances, you know, because GCN told you so, anyway, that's just the deal, if you don't dope, you won't cope at the top. If you don't take it, you won't make it at the top, okay? It's professional sports people. It's always going to be like that. It always has been. People don't work not... People, some people just don't want to work 9 to 5, all right? They want to be an entertainer. They want to take this shit, train hard, and give the everyday person something to cheer on, okay? Soccer, swimming, running, athletics. It's all juice to the gills, man. Everyone's on the jumbo juice at the top. Everyone's on the motherfucking jumbo juice at the top. All right? This is how it is.